Hello, everyone. Uh, nice to meet you. Uh, I'm not sure if you can uh, see the, the WebEx corner. I can see, but I'm not sure if you can see, <laughs> or it's just uh, uh, the, the techniques here. Uh, so uh, uh, thank you again, and I was asked to give for a little bit uh, overview about the government funding and how to support startups and spin-offs. Uh, so uh, this is the, the, the last presentation, and uh, okay, let's uh, let's do it. Um, okay, so uh, at the beginning, just a uh, little bit of the theory, because I think in this case it is uh, an important actually to uh, to discuss how to uh, support uh, startups and spin-offs uh, from the point of view of the government and the ministries and the government. Uh, because it's uh, not uh, sometimes very obvious uh, like for who we are actually preparing uh, some programs and how we can figure out what kind of the support is actually needed and uh, is eligible for the companies. Uh, so here is the, the uh, definition of the startups from the uh, Scale-Up Manifesto, which is on the European level. Uh, so the basic is that it's the organization uh, which creates uh, products and the values uh, under the uh, extreme uncertainty. Um, so that's also why 90% uh, of the startups fails during the first uh, few years uh, according to uh, the studies. On the other hand, those 10%, uh, when they succeed, they succeed spectacularly. Uh, which means that uh, they can uh, become a global company uh, with the potential to, to impact uh, many, many people and the businesses with their uh, products. Uh, so what's the um, basic difference uh, in regular business and the startups and the scale-ups uh, are uh, scalability. Uh, what does it mean? Uh, it means that uh, when you uh, uh, put an investment to the company, they can do let's say, uh, much more uh, with uh, less costs um, and how to um, go to the market, uh, how to uh, uh, create a product in the business, uh, which is the, uh, the main difference. So uh, the investment is not actually following uh, the revenues and the cost. Uh, but the, at the beginning is what is crucial for uh, the for startups and spin-offs and later on of the scale-up. So when you talk about the scale-up, there are those are more mature uh, startups and the companies who are actually behind the value of, uh, of that statistics. Um, one of the part of uh, the circle of, uh, of the startups, let's say, are the spin-offs. Uh, which are the companies uh, uh, who are spin out of uh, the uh, R&D infrastructure and uh, from the universities and academies uh, of science. And in this case, we are not talking about the spin-offs which uh, uh, can uh, be created by the uh, companies, so are more of the spin-outs. Uh, and in this case, uh, the, the scalability at the beginning is not so uh, higher or flexible as for the startups uh, uh, who, uh, just, uh, who, who, who don't need, uh, let's say, special care at the beginning uh, dedicated to uh, some certifications or uh, the tests uh, or uh, it basically means that uh, to, uh, to build the product is uh, much more time and financial commitment than you know, regular uh, startups. Uh, on, on this slide, you can see uh, the startup financial cycle. Um, so uh, there is a, a time which is uh, important how uh, is the cycle of the, uh, of the company and then also the revenue. Uh, there is also the higher risk and the lower risk later, uh, and uh, in this case, you can see who uh, 
like in general or in the idea of uh, stage uh, can uh, can support for uh, startups and things. So at the beginning, uh, those are usually uh, um, business angels or as you can see here, the triple F, which means the uh, friends, family, and the fools who can support uh, businesses at the beginning uh, when they have just an idea or they are only at uh, the early stage. Let's say the very early stage. Uh, then when the time goes and they are after the value of that, uh, you know, where the VCs typically come in and can support uh, those type of the companies and uh, also some uh, state funds like European investment funds uh, can support uh, the companies in various ways, uh, but they uh, has to be or they uh, they have to be. Uh, or a legal entity and uh, they have to have some uh, financial uh, resources already because uh, in this case uh, they have to contribute to, uh, to building uh, the product and in the later stage to think more about the, uh, the scale-ups or the mergers and acquisitions and, and the ideal system again from, uh, from uh, the newspapers. So, uh, what's this? Uh, the biggest issue, the, the link is the gap, um, like how to get from the idea to the early stage startup companies. And this is uh, the gap when the most uh, uh, teams and the ideas actually fail. Uh, so, I uh, have a little bit of uh, the statistics. So, in 2016, there was the first startup report here in this uh, CBD region, or actually, it was a month of four, uh, four countries uh, uh, in Visegrad. And we also asked the companies if uh, they, as a startup, uh, use or are planning to, to use uh, the state uh, support, and in which case they would like to, to use it. And uh, on the other hand, uh, why they don't want to use it. So, uh, as you can see on, uh, on this slide, there is uh, probably an obvious uh, uh, gap, like, which is uh, usual for uh, for the state uh, funding that it can deform the market, uh, there are the limited requirements, uh, there is overhead uh, administration regarding to, uh, to apply for the uh, programs. Uh, but on the other hand, uh, it uh, can be uh, some basic input also how to enable an R&D uh, to the companies. And uh, there are also the statistics from the Ministry of Industry and Trade that uh, during the past um, uh, decade, let's say, when the Czech Republic is using the uh, EU funds, uh, and the SF funds, uh, most of the companies they actually started to think about how to implement uh, an R&D uh, within their business uh, because on the other hand they wouldn't be able to do it because it's very uh, financial financial convenient. So uh, as you can see some some of the startups like over 50% they, they would like to use the, the public uh, uh, support or the state support. Uh, even though uh, there are some um, issues like why cannot uh, use all this kind of support, but uh, almost 50% they would never, never use it. Uh, uh, as it was also on the, on the previous slide, we asked if they already tried because um, some of them, uh, they, they have this perception that it's very very difficult to, to apply for the state program, but they actually never use it, so they, uh, they don't have uh, this uh, kind of experience, let's say. Uh, and um, uh, this is also what uh, the government of the state should, should focus on, how to reduce uh, um, the administrative or bureaucracy for um, the starting companies because obviously they uh, do not have such resources as uh, medium-sized companies or the 
larger companies to go through uh, the application and to understand everything from uh, the legal issues, uh, what is the uh, minimum requirement, uh, and uh, other uh, other requirements. Uh, startup lifecycle, um, here you can see, and it's following uh, uh, the, the statistics uh, in the United States, actually. Uh, so they ask um, the thousands of the companies, the, the startups, uh, during the uh, several years, what is the main uh, attribute they or they uh, have. Uh, and the first thing was actually there is no market need for the product. product. And uh, the second is they they um, uh, do not have enough. Um, money or the financing to, to continue with the product. So actually the main issue is to, to find the market fit and to, to have a good timing uh, also for entering uh, the market, then uh, they have uh, the financing. Uh, here are also the, uh, the challenges. So one of the main uh, it's uh, obviously the human resources, which uh, is for the state support very, very difficult to uh, to help. Right? There are some um, some state aid to contribution um, to uh, to employees, but for the startups at the beginning, it's uh, not obviously the right right instrument. Uh, then it's uh, the investment, but also uh, the uh, Possibility to enter in the foreign market because, from the basic point of view, uh, the startup they are building for the global products for the global market and the global uh, audience, and uh, that's also uh, why uh, we can look at uh, the Small Business uh, uh, Act uh, statistics that the uh, uh, Czech Republic. Uh, in cooperation with other new uh, states, um, we are like, under the like, average in the internationalization of not only the startup but, but also the SMEs. Here is the, the difference between the internationalization and uh, export, let's say, which is not, uh, not the, uh, the same thing. And uh, on the other hand, which is uh, actually very surprising for me as well, that the number uh, well, number four and number five are actually above the average of the European Union, which means that according to the statistics, we should have a really good public recruitment and the access to finance, which is actually not the same opinion from uh, the startups and from, for the small small companies. It's more for for the medium companies and the larger companies for for, for uh, the startups and the spin-offs. Um, but it also depends on the uh, data which uh, is using for this uh, for this uh, statistics and on the right side of the slide you can see uh, the comparison with uh, Slovakia and, uh, and Romania. And uh, here is probably the main point. So the state support. Uh, this uh, is how it should look. <laughs> So uh, this means uh, from the ideas, uh, from um, uh, the universities and the talent, uh, uh, the startups uh, should be uh, supported. Uh, there should be uh, a pool of the support organizations and the services, uh, also some pools uh, of the people like the talent and the entrepreneurs, business angels, uh, venture capitals. Uh, local and national governments which can support the startups through their way and uh, in the end they uh, could build the product for for the biggest for the uh, bigger companies or they can sell uh, the product to the bigger companies or they can become uh, scale up and uh, big uh, 
corporation in, uh, in the future. Uh, but uh, to be to be honest, the, the usual way how to do this podcast looks like this. This is, I guess, from the uh, French uh, article I uh, I found. So uh, as you can see, there is not this uh, hockey stick as is usually uh, shown in some of the statistics as the ideal uh, scale how to build this startup. So uh, sometimes uh, there is some work and uh, uh, it's uh, not uh, the, uh, the ideal phase, but uh, this is probably more how it looks in a, in a practice. And uh, as you can see, or, or, or the point of the first part of my presentation was uh, that uh, we do not have and uh, exact data about the startups. Uh, they, they build the product under the same uh, uncertainty. It's, uh, it's not obvious if the product will be successful in, uh, in the future. Uh, and on the other hand, we have the states and the government who are trying to uh, support those kind of the businesses, but uh, they uh, from their uh, basics uh, cannot be so so flexible to to adapt the uh, uh, the uh, products and uh, the support according to the the phase uh, the companies are are going through as you can see on this slide. So um, there is a maze. There is a maze how to go to one side or to the other and how to find. Uh, uh, the right way how uh, how to support uh, the companies, uh, such startups and uh, spin-offs. So, uh, what uh, is now uh, not available for uh, for the startup companies? Uh, you can look at uh, uh, the uh, inception of uh, the startups, and we uh, look at. Uh, the agencies such as technology agency or Ministry of Industry and Trade, or even the Ministry of Health, Education and Sports, uh, there are several programs uh, which can help uh, companies uh, based on the R&D uh, how to uh, build a prototype, how to test an idea, and it's usually a, a collaboration. Uh, between the R&D institution and the uh, companies, so small and medium size. Uh, so I try to put uh, the, the programs on uh, this uh, life cycle of uh, the companies. Uh, there are also uh, several programs on the European level, like uh, EIC Accelerator, which was previously known as an SME instrument. Uh, and uh, and others, but when we speak in uh, about the national level, the technology agency uh, all together with uh, the Ministry of Industry and Trade in a program which is called Strand uh, are those who, who support uh, R and D and innovation uh, well of that place. Uh, then we have a lot of um, Financing available through operational program enterprise and innovation for competitiveness. Um, and uh, there are several programs such as application innovation technology potential proof of concept or innovation uh, vouchers. Those uh, programs are for um, companies which can operate outside of uh, the capital city track because uh, this whole program is to focus on uh, regions in, uh, in, in the Czech Republic and uh, there is a difference uh, among the programs and uh, the amount of uh, the financing that they can provide each each of the program they have like, a specific uh, uh, conditions and some of them it's uh, necessary to to cooperate with the R and D institution, um, and some of them it's uh, it's not. Uh, and some of them uh, the companies has to be uh, uh, companies have to be older than uh, two years. 
because there is a contribution uh, to uh, to the services. So uh, through those programs, it's, if it's not possible to uh, to have a financing up to one one hundred percent of the cost, but uh, there are two two possibilities. Uh, first is um, something which is called under the minimis regime for the small medium uh, companies, and uh, it's usual or it can be um, even uh, over the fifty percent uh, take contribution. Uh, but uh, on the other hand, uh, there are the programs uh, which uh, uh, go under the uh, regional statement, uh, regional state act, and uh, in this case, the support can be up to 35 or uh, 40 or 5 percent. Uh, so, as the web page. Uh, which is the bottom of the slide, you can look and you can see all the programs. Uh, if they are open right now, or what are uh, the conditions and the requirements uh, which need to be uh, uh, fulfilled when you apply for, uh, for those programs. Uh, here you can uh, see uh, almost the full portfolio of uh, the uh, um, a program uh, and those in the uh, in the black circle are uh, those as I mentioned on the previous slide. But there are also uh, also the others which are not specifically dedicated to to R and D and all that and stuff. Then um, then we looked at the guarantees or uh, something which is called the preferential loans and equity financing. Uh, it's mainly provided by the Czech uh, Moravian Guarantee and the Development Bank uh, in cooperation with the private banks, but uh, also the Ministry of Industry and Trade and the European Investment Fund. Uh, there are the several programs, uh, for instance, the Unostar, uh, which is for the companies basically without the uh, story, and they can uh, apply for. Well, I think a half million check round through, through this program for the startups in the growth stage or in the expansion. Uh, there are several programs, uh, both loans and, uh, and a guarantee for uh, for the companies who would like to enter to, to the foreign market or they would like to expand uh, their businesses. Um, and uh, this is not. Uh, um, the, uh, the state act. Uh, this is really the, uh, the loans and the guarantees, but the conditions are much more uh, uh, better, I'll say, than uh, when you go to to the private to the private uh, banks uh, for this uh, type of the financing. And uh, since the last year, uh, there is also a cooperation in the equity financing. Um, uh, they were established or, or, or supported the two Czech funds, and one of them uh, was uh, or is uh, uh, the nation run, uh, which uh, Martin Borowski has the presentation uh, prior me. Uh, so the second one is the Lighthouse uh, Ventures. Uh, uh, and uh, this means that uh, the, the MIT here, which means the Ministry of Industry and Trade, not the MIT in the US, uh, are trying to, uh, to look at the support which can go from uh, uh, the idea phase to, to the maturity and the expansion. So uh, at the beginning, there is a proof of concept program or the program Gamma from the technology agency. Uh, later on, there was a, a, a gap because um, uh, not so many uh, venture capital funds here in the Czech Republic actually support the idea uh, stage or pre acceleration stage. So, uh, that's why the nation run and the White House ventures were uh, supported to uh, fill this gap. And um, then uh, there is also the Central European Fund of Funds which is uh, the fund for more mature companies 
like uh, the later on equity financing uh, for for the growth and for uh, for the expansion. And uh, uh, besides the programs directly uh, supported to the Ministry of Industry and Trade or uh, the uh, Czech Moravian Guarantee and the Development Fund, uh, we at the Czech Invest uh, has also several programs how to support the startups. Um, the main um, uh, difference is that we uh, do not provide uh, the financing uh, or the direct financing. Uh, but uh, we provide uh, services for the startups, which means uh, the advisory and the mentoring, uh, also the incubation, especially through our um, um, incubation program, uh, which is under the label of the European Space Agency uh, since 2016. Also, the global acceleration, uh, and since 2011, when the started groups. Kind of the programs we, uh, we already supported almost 300 startups uh, to, uh, to, uh, to help them to, to go global. And also the uh, other program to, to match make or to match make startups and investors uh, uh, together. Uh, so when I also uh, put the, the, the programs on the life cycle of the companies, here at the beginning, you can see the, the ESA Business Incubation Center and the program, which is called the Czech Starter. It's for uh, the early stage uh, uh, startup companies. Um, then the programs uh, such as Czech Demo, Czech Match, and the Czech Accelerator help startups uh, to, to enter the foreign markets or through some uh, first um, um, recognition or getting the feedback on the international conferences or festivals or one week um, acceleration program in the Czech match up to three months acceleration uh, in the Czech accelerator program. And uh, the additional program, uh, which is called the Czech link startup, is for the uh, matching investors and the startups, mainly from, from other portfolio, but it's also open to, uh, to other uh, companies uh, outside of, uh, of other portfolio. Um, we, uh, as I mentioned, support startups in the global markets. Uh, so our main uh, hotspots are in London, uh, Singapore, uh, Silicon Valley, and New York, uh, where we cooperate with local um, mentors, advisors, and uh, business uh, incubators and accelerators who, uh, who know uh, really well uh, the local business environment and are able to, uh, to help start jobs with their uh, business in uh, this international market. Uh, there are some, uh, some steps. Um, uh, as you can see, or uh, as I mentioned, almost uh, 300 companies we, uh, we already supported, and uh, this is from the last year, so not the, uh, the numbers are a little bit uh, uh, higher. And uh, uh, we also supported uh, uh, companies with the patent application or, or the trademarks, which is also the part of the eligible costing of the programs. Uh, and uh, here you can see, so I try to put uh, the main institutions on uh, this uh, life cycle of the company, how they can uh, support. Uh, so in the seat and the early stage, there is uh, still a, a little bit gap, and in the pre-seat stage, as I mentioned, uh, there is a technology agency, which is uh, mainly focused on uh, support. R&D institution, and in the second phase, uh, there were uh, companies such as startups and, uh, and spin-offs. Uh, but it's not it's not just us. There is so uh, many incubators and accelerators in the, the co-working spaces, not only in Iran but also in regions of uh, of the Czech Republic. Um, so uh, you can find uh, the help and the support there as well. Um, there's also a platform uh, among uh, state or uh, government uh, kind of supporting uh, uh, 
for incubators and accelerators so we can share our experience and uh, how to uh, help uh, the startups and the companies uh, doing for uh, doing they like but they are also a private uh, uh, private incubators and accelerators so, uh, as well and uh, also uh, some incubators so uh, uh, which operate um, the universities such as the uh, University of Economy, uh, the University of Life Science, the uh, uh, University in, in Ostrava or in the Czech Technical, Technical University. And the private financing, uh, so I would like to uh, just uh, give you a little bit of, uh, of the overview. So here is uh, in, the, in the red, um, First, uh, the, the private financing, uh, the loans, uh, and the uh, seed grants. Um, uh, I, I already presented in the part of the state support. Uh, so here you can see it. Um, when we compare the investment uh, with other countries, such as Portugal, Hungary, uh, or uh, the Belgium, you can see that uh, the investment uh, in 2017. Uh, here in the Czech Republic was like under 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 the average <laughs> uh, in uh, or in other but like uh, when you compare it to, to other uh, countries uh, and when we go and look more mature uh, investment you can see that uh, in, in this case it's uh, much much better about in the seat and, uh, and in the startup space so you know for really something we can uh, we can be proud of um on this slide you can uh see uh, the main uh business and uh, the domain venture capital funds in the Czech Republic uh, as well as uh, the business for uh, angel uh, networks uh, such as KRXO um, at the beginning of this year, I uh, was uh, also established the Association of uh, the Business Angels, but um, uh, I think that they still do not have a logo, so we will uh, provide some here. Uh, and uh, they would like to, uh, to connect all the existing uh, business angels and uh, the platforms dedicated to, uh, to provide the uh, Proceed and receive financing. So something is already happening in this sphere, and we are really, really all glad that uh, uh, the market is uh, able to uh, to look uh, where it's needed and try to to fill this gap. Uh, also, the crowdfunding platforms, which is not for uh, every uh, startup or the, or the company in the Czech Republic, there is uh, several of them. Uh, uh, there are different type uh, where only the people can uh, can support. All the investors are also involved, uh, such uh, uh, as the uh, the fund lead. Uh, what is uh, the main uh, advantage of the crowdfunding platform uh, when it's uh, dedicated to help? Uh, uh, the uh, the risk investment is that they can actually. Um, Contribute or the accelerate uh, annual investment altogether with uh, the money from the family and, and friends, and to to connect them to uh, to uh, raise more financing or more more investment for for the companies. Uh, here is a slide uh, uh, when I uh, use from the presentation of the family. Uh, so as you can see, uh, we are uh, uh, on this slide of uh, uh, the uh, logos of uh, the companies who were able to uh, to have an investment through this uh, through this platform, and um, uh, this is some kind of the new type of uh, the, the investment in the Czech Republic. In the, um, uh, last few years, uh, but uh, as you can see, almost uh, 400 uh, million dollars uh, pretty, uh, pretty good um, uh, amount of the investment, which was already, uh, uh, let's say, the, uh, the 
issues or already also through this platform. And uh, the future plan, so uh, this is uh, almost the, uh, the end of my, of my presentation. Um, what is at the beginning uh, is actually to, to start to talk with the experts and uh, the people who are behind the uh, startups and spin-offs and uh, the universities and the companies to figure out where is actually uh, the, the problem or what can be done to, uh, to support um, R&D startups uh, or uh, spin-offs. So last year, um, uh, we, we established the spin-off platform, and in the end of uh, 2019, uh, there was a spin-off uh, guide, how it's called, and uh, uh, it was a material which uh, went also through uh, the government of the Czech Republic to uh, uh, to uh, put all together all the best practices and especially uh, the law point of view whether it's possible to, to establish a spin off at the universities or not or what are the obstacles or how uh, the institutions can go uh, over those, uh, those obstacles uh, because uh, the main point was that there are no legal requirements or the obstacles how to establish uh, uh, spin-offs but basically because we are not used to uh, this uh, to, to this type of uh, uh, the companies in our local cities and we don't have enough uh, good examples uh, and this is why uh, uh, the, the experts from this platform uh, put uh, uh, together this uh, spin-off uh, guide to, to provide more certainty to uh, the representatives of the institutions that it's possible and uh, from the government is supported actually to, uh, to uh, set up uh, spin-offs. Uh, all together with the Ministry of Industry and Trade, uh, we uh, are discussing the European Investment Fund uh, who has a special special program for the technology transfer investments. Uh, this is uh, from, from their presentation, how it looks in, uh, uh, in practice. And uh, uh, we are discussing whether it's so possible to, to have this true energy republic as well and to fill the gap as I presented uh, at the beginning of, of my presentation. And uh, as I mentioned, there is uh, not enough uh, use cases, but they are um, one of uh, or two, two, two main uh, successful are probably the INI Prague uh, and the Charles uh, University Innovation Prague. Those are the uh, companies which are um, especially uh, uh, established to uh, to help in, in, in the first case it's uh, the uh, Wuhan which is uh, the uh, 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 institution under the uh, Academy of Science dedicated to uh, uh, to uh, to chemistry and uh, and the others to actually help uh, establish the, the spin-offs so there is several of them. Um, here, for instance, uh, are the Railhead Company and Vienna Technologies. And um, uh, the, the second case from uh, the Charles University, uh, there is also uh, a private company, but it's, uh, it's 100% owned by, by the Charles University. And uh, the first uh, case uh, at the beginning of this year was that uh, they uh, held uh, the Charles uh, Games, uh, which is the company uh, uh, established from uh, from this, uh, let's say, uh, technology transfer or uh, um, company of the uh, Charles University uh, to uh, to uh, Bring to life this uh, this company. Um, 
but uh, not everything is happening in Iraq. Um, so I have a good example, it's a cooperation uh, between the company called Neomo and the uh, University of uh, Tomás Batia in Zin, uh, how uh, they uh, actually were able to uh, to bring this product and later on the business alive. Uh, this is the company we also supported through, through our program. Um, they also represent, uh, or represented last year the, the Czech Republic in the uh, international uh, competition created business cup. Uh, so we are really proud uh, of them and uh, uh, I think uh, that this is also another good, good example uh, how uh, the uh, startups and the universities uh, can uh, can cooperate, and uh, this brings me to uh, to the end of my presentation. Uh, so the startups, it's not always uh, it's not always uh, a piece of cake. Let's say uh, uh, we are trying to uh, to understand uh, uh, their uh, their needs and. Uh, um, also, how how to help them? But uh, to be honest, this uh, um, um, market is very uh, it's uh, very changing, and uh, uh, we are trying to, to to do our best to to help uh, uh, bring alive the, the founders' dream, uh, as it uh, mentioned here, uh, and. Uh, I hope that uh, we can do our part to uh, to help this uh, startups and uh, NSPNOs. But as it was mentioned also at, at the beginning, the state support is here mainly because of the market, uh, or because there are the gaps on the market. So the ideal phase is uh, those uh, uh, programs uh, will not be needed in the future because of the gap will be fulfilled. So uh, this is uh, my dream actually. <laughs>